Mr. and Mrs. Singh live in a large apartment building inside the apartment, uh, which is on the ground floor of a very dirty and old building. There are many hallways that look like they are gone forever. And there are several apartments on the floor. You can hear screeching doors from every corner. Uh, more rain, more rain tomorrow. Only five degrees, nuts in summer. Yep. No, just feel free. You know the one that lives on the fourth floor? Fourth floor? Yeah, I know her. She hasn't paid her rent for like forever. <sighs> Come on, don't make such a fuss about it. The noise is up there. I go and check what the noises are and talk to Miss Green about her rent. Whatever. Uh, uh. Hello? 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 Just remind us, what have we got so far? Well, Mark Singh was murdered between 10 and 12 o'clock. We found tons of weapons in the apartment as well. But apparently, besides all the weapons, there's a Josephine Leona Green living there. Hmm. Any fingerprints? Hints of a personality? Nope. I guess the murder Oh well, let's not make any hopes of finding Miss Josephine Green right now. We have to concentrate on the important stuff. Yes, that is a good idea. Hopefully, there are enough clues to help us solve this case. Uh, yes, we just want some information so that we can use it to find the murderer. I just heard this loud noise coming from my neighbor's apartment. I instantly woke up, naturally, and wanted to see what was going on when I, uh, I walked out my door and I saw a dark show. And I've ever seen a human run before and after, after that I, uh, I saw that sing. saying that you are the murderer. I just want to gain a little bit of information. 
Okay, I was a bit jealous of my husband because he was constantly going up to Josephine's apartment. She lives on the fourth floor and I think that he's cheating on me. But that's not a reason to think I would kill him. I heard him scream after he went up to Josephine's apartment and then I ran upstairs instantly. There I saw my husband, dead, on the floor. Violet also came out of her apartment after I arrived. Okay, I think that's enough. Thank you for your time. Well, this is interesting. I hope we can use this information to solve the case. Right now, our top suspect is Josephine Leona Green, even though we've never met her. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, were Violet Forrest and Clara Singh the only ones who might have seen or heard anything? Hmm? Hmm? I found... Moment. of Josephine's apartment door, which was used to kill Mark Singh. There's a lot of blood on it. <laughs> it looks like someone has just tossed it onto the floor. We should find out if there are any fingerprints on this. Starting that line. This, this, what? This is a specialised weapon. This is not easy to get. Only specialised people can get hold of something like this. Ah, <laughs> oh, look, oh, we just received a report that there were no <coughs> fingerprints on the knife that we found. Interesting. Sam, why don't you give us a shot and explain who could have committed the murder? Josephine Green is our top suspect because the murder was done in front of her apartment while Miss Forrest has heard it in her apartment which is also on the same floor. The only problem is that we haven't met Josephine Green yet. Mark Singh's wife could also have easily murdered her husband as she had the motive. She suspected that her husband had been having an affair with Miss Green. A possible motive for Ms. Green could be that she could have had a dispute with Mr. Singh. Great job. That is exactly right. I think we should get a closer look at Miss Green. I shall check her profile. Okay, let's take a look at Woo, look! This is interesting. She is retired. She's retired. Retired. And, but a few years ago, she worked as a professional detective. And also, as a police officer. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That explains the weapons in her apartment. But why would a detective commit such a crime? This case is getting more and more complicated. Ah, how should we find out where Josephine Green is right now? That's what I was wondering too. Mm. Does she have any relatives that we could talk to? That's a good idea, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> Hmm. Let's take a look. Ah, yes. Here on this profile, you can see. Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. You can see she has a brother mm -hmm. called Patrice mm -hmm. Green. He lives um, a few streets away from here. Ah, let's bring him in. Back. <coughs> <coughs> Hello? Uh, officer? Yeah, it's Inspector Shabim. Could you uh, bring us in uh, Mr. Mr. Green for interrogation? 
Right? Thanks. <coughs> <laughs> I have a chair. I should probably sit down. Have a chair. I feel uncomfortable standing while being interrogated. While we stand over here. For the record, are you Patrick Green? That's me. <laughs> mm -hmm. We need to ask you some questions. Sure. Can I find you? Yep. Ask away. Do you know <coughs> where your sister Josephine Leona Green has been lately? <laughs> that old brat. <laughs> She's almost ten years older than me, and actually, she should care about me. But instead, I always have to help her. What do you mean by that? Uh, I always have to lend her money because she's already retired. She loves to go on holiday, and when she doesn't have enough money for that, she begs me for it and I have to give her some. Um, I can't bear her being sad. She always gets what she wants. So do you think that's where she is right now, on holiday? I'm not sure. I haven't heard from her for a couple of days, but that happens very often. I think that she could be on holiday somewhere in Africa right now. I gave her, I gave her some of my money lately. It was maybe two weeks ago. She could have used it on holiday. When we were young, she was exactly the same. My mom always screamed at her, but she never changed. Until today, she is still the same. <laughs> Actually, I don't want anything to do with her. Um, she keeps coming to my house almost every day when we're living in our own. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Is this is actually relevant to where your sister is now? Um, no. Uh, but I thought you might like to know that our relationship is about and how we grew up. Um, maybe it could be useful. Uh, what did she actually do? She is one of the suspects who could have murdered someone. No, no, no. Uh, Josephine could never do something like that. Uh, even though she hasn't paid for her rent for quite some time, she could never murder someone. She hasn't done it, really. Uh, when I went to school with her in the early days, she she always. Uh, uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you for answering our questions with so much detail. Okay. Right. Uh, do you have a phone number? Um. No. Um. She can't afford a phone. But she is on holiday. Uh, she could be coming back anytime, possibly tomorrow. Okay. okay, then we will contact her then. Thank you very much. You may leave now. Okay, I will leave then now. <laughs> Yes, hi. Uh, my name is Sam McDonald, and I would like to ask you some questions. Please. 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 Apparently, there was a murder committed in front of your apartment. And you want me to find out who the murderer was? I'm sorry, but I'm retired. No, 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 no. Not at all. We would like you to tell us if you what you saw or heard a few days ago. I wasn't here two days ago. I just got back from Egypt at 10 a.m. if you want to know. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. Do you have any idea of who could have done it? Cut. Now we pause. So, do you want me to read this out? Thank you, dear. Well, 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 dear students. This is now your turn to put the results on your boards that you'll be given in a moment. Select the killer out of the four. Write down who killed Mr. Smith <coughs> with what weapon. Um, and finally, the reason why. So, who, with what, and why. Okay, so, where's that? Yeah. so. <laughs> 
Do you have any idea who could have done it? I have no idea. The neighbors here don't talk to me very mu much, except for Violet. We were best friends, but a few years ago we got to a big fight. <laughs> I guess you can't help us then. Oh wait, I have a camera in front of my apartment. Mm -hmm. I used it when I was still working as a detective. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it still works, but I can give it a try. That is so cool. <laughs> Wait, wait. What is Violet doing there? Why does she have a key to the door? I gave her my key while I was on holiday, and she uses this time to steal my things. I just wanted to become friends again. Wait, wait. Violet is not going into the apartment. She leaves the door wide open. She is making loud noises with a large rock. Now she's throwing it on the floor. I can hear voices too. I'm clear to know what they're saying. Uh, Violet goes back into her apartment, leaving Josephine's apartment door wide open and taking the stone with her. Here goes Mark Singh. That looks around. He walks into Josephine's apartment and shouts, Josephine! Suddenly Violet's apartment door opens and she walks quietly towards Mark with a knife in her hand. She killed him. I should have known by the way she acted in the interview. But why would she do it? And why does the video keep on going? Because, of course it does. Solve the case completely. 